What is up, Beyond Squad? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to do somewhat of a short reaction to the whole controversy which is happening with Fusi Tube right now. So, if you guys probably are not so in tune with internet culture, Fusi Tube was a very, very big influencer before. He used to do like a lot of pranks. Um, I never watched him, but I do know that my little brother used to watch most of his pranks, and I. I always thought that he was just like a really, just like a shitty YouTuber. Uh, it's the reason why he's not continuing right now with YouTube. I mean, like he's still got some form of relevance, but I would not say he is as big as he was before. Uh, this was the heyday of YouTube when everyone used to make like over maybe what, 400,000. So Fuzi was caking uh, when he came to YouTube. So I'm not going to sit and talk too much today. Let's just get straight into the video. So FusiTube is someone who really needs no introduction, but now he is a YouTube OG who has spent the last decade or so building himself up just to tear himself down over and over and over again. To be honest, there's really no one comparable to him on the internet, and to stay relevant after destroying his life time and time again <laughs> is actually really impressive. The rebuilding of himself usually consists of getting back into mm. shape, maybe some True. religion thrown into the mix, yeah. a lot of motivational talk, and then come the delusions of grandeur. It's like just as he's doing well, he becomes like a sports car with his foot jammed on the acceleration with no brakes, and eventually eventually crashes right in front of the public eye. At this point, we have seen Prankster Fusi, Wannabe Drake Fusi, mm. Motivational Speaker Fusi, House Hunter Fusi, Boxing Fusi where he was horrible, and now in the latest arc we have Livestreamer Fusi. For years he had dabbled in live streaming, but this time he really took things to the next level, streaming his entire life for over a month straight. Obviously for someone like him, with the mental illness he has displayed in the past, this was a horrible idea. And despite the fact that it was going well, and he had a couple of viral moments and was making some good money, it's now once again time in the cycle for the crash portion. And today we are going to look at the craziness that was the last 24 hours on his stream. And I don't know if he's just into public humiliation or what, but some of the things that get clipped the most in his stream is when people donate to him, they can write a text message and he has some sort of speaker with him that will read this message out loud. Count it up, count it up, count it up, count it. Text from mom. I've seen the letter from the clinic you have AIDS and have not told us. The fuck? This is wrong, Yusuf. It was little kids last week, now an STD. Jesus. So this is what he was basically doing over and over again, was going out in public and acting like a bit of a menace. I mean, we know he loves attention. We know this guy basically lives for views and impressions. Mm. So it's not surprising to me that he would lose his mind trying to get them. And this is where things get really crazy as Fousey took a trip to the airport. I'm such a dickhead. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not, I'm a great person. I can tell. <laughs> How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm so good. It's a cult, basically. I'm not kidding you. You're in a cult? Yeah. You're sober? Yeah, well, okay. no. <laughs> I have a Discord, right? Mm -hmm. With like 8,000 members. Mm -hmm. Can I send them a picture of me and you kissing? <laughs> yeah. To piss them off? So he meets this woman at the airport. She's clearly been at the bar drinking. And then right off the bat, he's asking her for a kiss. He's trying to make this an intimate situation. She's obviously into it, and honestly, I just find the whole thing to be disgusting. Kissing random ratchet drunk women at the airport sounds like a very quick way to find yourself at the health clinic. They're gonna cancel me for this. I don't care, though. I have a b right now. I swear to God, you can feel it under my pants. I swear to God. It's crazy. It's a Look nasty dude. Don't nasty dude. Time. Would you join the Mile High Club with me? Um, so I got sold. I got sold in his trade. You got sold in this trade? I actually care about this shit because I'm like an advocate for like against trading and all that shit. What happened? And I just want to pause it right here to say that it's been very well documented that Fousey has had a serious problem with in the past and back in the day when he was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month living in some insane LA apartment he would always talk about oh I have this addiction I have this problem but I can't tell you guys what it is that is until Vitaly exposed him one day because the two were very close and basically all I'll say about this is that this guy was not above paying for action 
And at one time, he was allegedly going out every single day and doing so. Whether that be him skimming through the yellow pages looking for it, going to a sketchy massage parlor. So to call himself an advocate for these type of victims is just a little bit rich to me. Like, you were not an advocate, dude. You were one of the main customers. He was trying to make me a lot lizard recently. A what? Yeah, a lot lizard. A lot lizard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get it. Uh, first of all, thank you for sharing. I appreciate you being this honest. This is a real conversation. No, it's real. It happens, My audience it might not day. understand, but I've been there. I used to be a static, so I used for years. Um, I used massage polish for years. So I understand. What the fuck? How long were you stuck under his spell? Uh, about six, seven months. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. Look, I just sent I you a little something. Thank you. I'm sitting there in court. And so I guess at this point, mm. Fousey is trying to make himself Two. look like a good person. Showing his Two chat thousand. that he sent this woman $300. And the whole thing <laughs> just comes off as very tasteless to me. Like if you were really uh... an advocate for these type of people, and you really wanted to help this woman, you would take her off your live True. stream and do this type of thing off camera because yeah. there's no way she really understands the magnitude of how far this clip is going to get spread. And how embarrassing that could be for her that so many people now know this information about her for $300. Hey, to everybody who's sitting here like, oh my god, you kissed her, da da da. This woman was involved in Jesus. The guy who manipulated her and brainwashed her is a piece of f***ing shit and deserves to die. So yes, I sent her $300 so she can start removing her tattoo and see her kids this weekend. I'm against that. A lot of the women that I used to get jumps from were se uh, se traffic and I'm so ashamed in that. And just watch this right here, guys, because you're going to see how ashamed Fousey truly is. He used women like this in the past, okay? It was his deepest, darkest secret. And I'll just let him take the floor. I just joined the mile. Mm. Love. Bruh, garbage. Take away the... Let's go. And no one doesn't count as the mile high club because I was in the airport, but I still joined it. I swear to God. I swear on everything I love. So he took this woman who mm. obviously has, you know, if she's mental problems, the truth, a very damaged relationship with s and joined the Mile High Club with her in the airport bathroom. I mean, at this point, this guy Fousey is just disgusting. I just joined the Mile High Club in the airport in the men's bathroom. <laughs> I swear to God. Well, uh, <laughs> I had to confess, I couldn't hold it for a second i didn't go to buy her no snacks i joined the mile high club i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i shouldn't have shared that i'm sorry i mean this all sounds like a very good way to join the no fly list i'm sure he'll try and use his mental health as a cop out in this situation but honestly he's just not a very good person so he starts crying he starts playing the sympathy card like dude absolutely no one feels bad for you you do this to yourself every single time and so then he just started sending messages in his chat just saying i'm sorry y'all i fed up badly I have a lot of skeletons in my closet. I'm not a good person. Like, oh, we all feel so bad for you, man. Like, to me, he's really nothing more than the boy who cried wolf. And then someone noticed that his mods were trying to cover up the airport incident. I guess he continued to stream. He then tweets out, I'm currently on a plane home. Yes, I spiraled. I'm going to call my therapist as soon as I land. Oh, what a noble person you are, Fousey. Thank you for keeping me in check. I need sleep. I need rest. I've lost the plot. I need to find it. Yeah, you need to stay off the internet, my guy. You obviously just cannot handle it. And once you get that little taste of power, you're right back into that grip of insanity. And you crash once again. He then apparently started doing things like this. I'm in a car right now. I'm coming right here on the freeway. I slip. I break up with the vodka. You I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if there is a cornier person out there than FouseyTube. I mean, what, does this guy think his life is some sort of sick movie? Where he's the main character who can just never get his life right, he can never get out of his own way? This is also just a little bonus clip for you guys. That memory was deeply burned into your brain. That memory right there, since the first time I had even after that when I was wrestling with a family friend and I came in my pants, that moment right there caused me years and years and years and years and years of failed relationship i mean you could not pay me any amount of money to get that confession out of me that is some straight up skippy activity right there and then i also just wanted to show this apparently he got a temporary suspension from twitch after this all went down i mean the guy obviously knows how to garnish attention but man does he also know how to f it all up 
Personally, I feel absolutely no sympathy for him. In fact, I feel much more sympathy towards that woman. Even if her story is not true, just to be put on display like that and to be used for the purposes of entertainment is just some really nasty work. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this, uh, you know, 10th downfall of Fousey down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the tan Superman, and some other insane streamers out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Okay, so these are my thoughts when it comes to Fousey Tube. Um, honestly, I don't hate him. I think he's a piece of shit YouTuber. I think he's not talented, but I don't hate him. What he did there was, there was nothing really wrong with what he did. Uh, it's not like he forced the girl to do anything. Yeah, she was drunk. Um, maybe morally wasn't the perfect thing to do, like to take advantage of a girl which is, is drunk, but... I, I, the way I look at it, it wasn't like a crazy thing. He had sex with a girl which was drunk and she wasn't like super tipsy or anything. The, the only thing which I thought was pretty like kind of creepy was the, the fact that she told him like what she went through with all the, the sex trade and everything and, and he kind of like took advantage of that. But that's how it is. There's, there's a lot of people which do things like that. Uh, I personally will not do that, but uh, not everyone is Yambo Davidson, I guess. But anyway, those are my thoughts when it comes to this video. I think that uh, Fousey is just, he's not a horrible human being, but I think he's a person which craves a lot of attention and you wouldn't be a YouTuber if you did not crave a lot of attention. Some of us crave less attention than others. Nowadays we are, when it really does come to things which are horrible, like the the little Tay situation, then yes, I think that we should make videos about this, but FouseyTube getting fucked in the bathroom is not a crazy thing. It's just, it's just like, mm, it's, it's, it's a little bit meh. It's almost like uh, Fuzi reminds me of the person which is constantly fucking up. Uh, and you kind of know that he's going to fuck up. He's just waiting for it. So it's, it's expected. Anyway guys, like, comment and share if you like videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.